Hello guys and we are here today with another awesome deck profile again this is heroes we did get the heroes strike structure deck not too long ago so we are still going off heroes and this is probably going to be a slightly popular deck and that is should all heroes you'll probably see it at your local it's not too competitive but it is still a really good way to play both heroes and should because you the deck just really works well together you can change this guy's attributes you can get out all your should all monsters and you have a whole bunch of dark monsters so you can make it screwed up or just play the normal hero build. You can use poly to make sure it all sorts of a lot of really good stuff. So I'm just going to go right in. One BLS. Obviously we have light and a couple lights and some darks. Two Bs for draw power. Two alias. Two dragons to get rid of background. He's also really good just to get rid of stuff. Seeing how we don't synchro summon, the deck really revolves on just using Falco. Getting them to flip face up, then think fusion summoning with them again. And so you can use dragons or other effect to compulse stuff, which is really nice. But he's also our back row guy besides acid. One wild herd, he's unaffected by traps, so he's really good. And then we run to the Blaze Man. He adds Polly, and again, Polly can be used for Shadals to summon out an El Shadal monster. And he changes his attribute by sending you can send one element to hero. A uh, monster from deck to graveyard, except itself, and its attribute attack and defense becomes the attribute and attack of the monster since the graveyard this way. So it's really good for the that. Three Shadow Mist, if he sent to the graveyard, so if you should all fusion into a window, you can add a hero monster, so he allows for some really stupid combos. But if he special summoned, you add one change quick play, and change uh, the change quick plays, so they're really good in this deck. Yeah, because you can make your Claw like the dark the deck really likes to sit on Dark Claw or the other one which isn't out yet which is Anki and I'll be getting over to him also eventually. And so Shadow Mist is really good. And then we run three bubble man, you pretty much use him to make Ab Zero and then you use Ab Zero to then board wipe mask changing him or form changing him into an acid. And you also use him for your rank four plays. Two hedgehogs to search and two Falco, Falco special summons from grave, um, if he's sent to grave or if he's for play stuff. So. For spells, we run three, a hero lives, especially if you control no monsters, pay happy life points, special on the level or lower, and then to hero monster from your deck. It is very costly because you lose 4,000 life points, most, more than likely, but like if you open up with it, you get that, um, you get out shadow mist and then you get mass change, and it's just really good. It's just really good because then you have a dark luck ready to go. And then we run two polys, one rota. If you get it, you search out Blaze Man. Two should all fusion. Three miracle fusion, because you have a lot of uh, cards in your grave. The miracle fusion is really good. One mass charge, this adds a hero and a mass change from your graveyard to him, so that is really good provided anything. Two L should all fusion, really good when to just fusion summon. It's really great for doing it in battle phase, just like how should all normally play it. To mass chains, this is specifically for heroes. You can target a hero monster, send the graveyard, then special summon a mass hero monster from your extra deck that has the same attribute. Form chain sends a hero a hero fusion monster to your extra deck and then summons out a mass hero with the same level but a different name. And then one mass chain second. This is the generic version of the card. You can use it for the Shadals or any of these guys. And you can use it to summon out a Mastio with a higher level but same attribute. Yeah, so pretty much you use these guys to make Dark Lot or Anki. One Snatch Steel, and this card's really good with the Mass Chains. Nephi should all feel him. You can change the attribute of your monster. So if you want to make Diane, if you want to make any of them, boom. You can. You have access to Acid, you have access to your Dark Laws, or you already have access to Dark Lot. You have access to Diane and Acid, which is really nice. And as far as this deck goes, it actually works really well because you can just draw, you can do a lot of deck thinning, you can just, it actually works a lot better than what you would think it would. Like you just dump your grave and then you get Miracle Fusion and then you can just start making your element of heroes and it just works really well. For our extra deck, we run one check, we run one of each of the Shadow monsters because I want to have some room for some extra deck monsters. One Diane, 
uh, Mass Dare Diane. If he destroys a monster by battle, you can spell summon a level 4 or lower tier monster from your deck, aka Shadow Mist, but if you've already used one of his effects, Blaze Man also work because he can search for a poly even if he's special summon. One construct, Anki, this is the new card. It is dark, and this card can attack your opponent directly, but its uh, battle damage is half. When this card destroys an opponent's mod by battle and sends a graveyard, add a change quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. So it's really great, you can attack and then grab form change, then form change him into an acid, or actually, <laughs> you could only, oh no, you could actually do a Diane. So if you had a whole bunch of monsters, you could attack and then form change into Diane and attack and then summon out Shadow Mist and then get out a mask change and then make a Dark Wall. So that's awesome. And then we want one Nova Master. Nova Master I highly recommend to run one copy of because you do have Blaze Man who is a fire. So if you want to quickly go for Fusion Summon, summon him and then have another element to hero, you can. Uh, he, he's just great because if he destroys a monster by battle, you're going to draw one card. So that's just really nice to have. One Shining, one Asset, Harpy Feather Duster if he's summoned. One is Scuderu. This is a card that's really easy to make. So if you want, you can put it up to two. It gains on attack for each element to hero in the grave. 1 out of 0, if it leaves the field, destroy all your opponent's monsters. 2 Dark Law, any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished, and if your opponent adds a card from their deck to your hand, you can um, banish it, banish one card from their hand. And then 1 Winda, either player is only allowed one special summon. And that is it for the fusion monsters, a lot of fusion monsters. You can run more, but I just wanted to have some room for some other key Exes that I felt would really help the deck in sort of matchups. I see myself with a lot of level 8s because they are all level 8s except for Dark Rock and Winda and Shaq. And so it's really easy just to make Felgrand. Just main phase 2, Felgrand. Good luck getting over him. If you're in the position where you're facing Clifford and they have towers, this guy is your answer because he becomes a 35 beater. Yeah, his attack becomes double. It's original attack. His attack will go down from 2000 to 1500, but because that isn't its original attack, it will go to 4000 and then decrease down to 35 by a tower's effect. So you can use him to just easily run over towers. And then Lavelle Vochin, who does everything. You can set up a miracles, you can beat, send Shadow Mist to get its effect, or detach gets effect, send Hedgehogs, and whatever you need. And so he's just decent if you ever get the chance to go for one too. And that is it for the deck. And yes, this is another Heroes deck. And there should be a duel with it tomorrow. I've been having a lot of fun with this build. It's been very interesting. So tell me what you guys think down below. Do you think Heroes are going to be really, really stupid? I'm just glad that this card's a thing because it's generic. And as long as they keep on pumping out more mass Heroes, it can make there be a chance for generic fusion summon, which there needs to be, like I'm really looking at um, fusion dragon, whatever it is, like there's Kroning Synchro, there's XI, XYZ, Dark Rebellion, XZ Dragon, there we go, and Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon, so what is the fusion dragon, I don't think it's been revealed in Odd 5, I haven't been watching lately, I want to let the episodes build up before I watch again, so I'm really waiting for that that fusion monster because I'm like how are they gonna do it? how are they gonna create that generic fusion monster and so all we can do is wait and so yes thank you guys for watching see you guys later bye